Good morning, Mendes. It's Tuesday, March 7th, 2017. I'm Maria Guzman. And I'm Azila. We have many important announcements and exciting events to share with you this morning. Attention students, please listen carefully to the following safety announcement. If you have classes on the third floor, then this definitely applies to you. Please use your assigned exits and staircases when you leave your classes. See the back of the agenda to check which stairs you're supposed to be using. The middle staircase that goes to the third floor will be only used by students going up. Please watch this video to learn more. I heard that somebody got pushed and the first step and hit their head on the fourth step down. The paramedics and fire department showed up. I heard it was a story for a girl's Snapchat story. The whole thing was fake. I heard that four people fell down these stairs and they broke their arm this week. I heard that these stairs are purposely slightly shorter than the normal stairs to make people fall more easily. Mr. Moreno, was that you? I knew about the camera, but I didn't know they had microphones up here. Who was that? You are taking the wrong stairs. Agenda. These stairs are only for coming up. Where did you guys come from? Everyone from Mr. Radfram's classroom down to Mr. Dennis are supposed to take the back stairs by Mr. Dennis's room. Everyone on Mr. McDonald's side on down to Mr. Kobe takes the target stairs. Everyone right here from Mrs. Mello on down uses the stairs by the elevator. Everyone here from Ms. Wells down takes the stairs by Ms. Park's classroom. Why? What do you think happens with 400 students trying to take the same, same set of stairs when they have to go down to the second floor? People get hurt. Have you ever seen people get pushed through? Yeah, all the time. Why do you think the agenda is color coded on the back? Pretty colors? The school is going to give us about a week to figure this out. If we can't learn to take the correct stairs to the third floor, they're going to block the stairwell off. You, you know the chain they have at the lunch area stairs to let you go up to the second floor? Same thing is going to happen here. If you see people in your class going the wrong way, mention to them the, the correct way they need to go. Oh yeah, thanks. What are you all doing up here anyway? Did you all get in trouble for hanging out here last week? Um, we had... I have tutoring. And Gay Street 60. Well, get going then. Okay. Did you turn in a baby picture? Do you see yourself on this page? If so, please stop by room 320 as soon as possible. Your picture was returned to you and we still need to know your name. So if your picture is on this page, then go to Miss Rubio and let her know which baby you are so we can get your name down. Eighth grade high school orientation is taking place on Wednesday, March 22nd. Permission slips were distributed through your language arts classes yesterday. Please make sure your parents sign your permission slip after reading all the information. Please return your signed permission slips to your language arts teacher by the end of this week. You are required to attend the assigned high school even if you did not plan on attending any of the seven high schools within our district. There will be eighth grade teachers who will be taking attendance. Please see Ms. Rios for any questions regarding your choice of high school. The Riley's Farm field trip is coming up in a few weeks. Are you getting good grades and making smart decisions? Remember, you must not have any F's in anyone's class for the fourth grading period. You must not have any disciplinary referrals and grant finally, you must have no more than three homework cards in anyone's class. You just have to go to Riley's farm. Don't lose your privilege. Eighth grade, 
computers. Tomorrow during period 7 and 8, there will be 8th grade end of the year activities and accountability meeting in the gym. Then in the evening, your parents must attend an 8th grade parent meeting that starts at 6 p.m. and goes until 7 p.m. in the gym. Happy National Breakfast Week. Our school is participating in a friendly competition with the rest of the middle schools and in order to win, all you guys have to do is come in and enjoy a free breakfast. The more students come in and enjoy a delicious breakfast, the higher chance we have of winning. The prize includes a free barbecue at lunchtime for all the students. Wouldn't you like to beat out the rest of the middle schools and say that Mendes is the best? So please, come in for breakfast. Thank you. Attention all students who are planning on attending this weekend's win session. Please remember to turn in your permission slip to your first period teacher or Mr. Diaz. Win starts at 8.15 and goes until 12.30. You must wear your uniforms and bring your backpacks and Chromebooks. If you have a permission slip, turn it in to Mr. Diaz as well. Mustangs, have you been selling popcorn? You have one more day to sell, sell, sell. Our Medes Año Papernopolis fundraiser will help raise money for the end of the school year events at Mendes. The orders are due by March 8th, which is tomorrow, and deliveries will occur on March 22nd. Students who are part of the top 50 sellers will get a pizza party, and every three items you sell will get you one raffle ticket that enters you in a chance to win prizes like gift cards to Starbucks, Subway, Tutti Frutti, Carl's Jr., and Target. Plus, everyone who sells will get a gene pass. So please do your best to sell that popcorn Mustangs. <laughs> Students, do you dance, sing, or play an instrument? Would you like to show off your talents at the Spring Renaissance Assembly? There will be an audition this Friday, March 10th, in Mr. Radford's classroom, 314, right after school. So get your friends together, practice and prepare this week, and be ready to audition next Friday, March 10th. Speech and debate members, there will be a meeting in Mr. Chang's classroom, 105 this Friday, right after school at 2.45 p.m. See you all there, speech and debate members. 6th and 7th grade students, last Friday you should have received an elective request form. You need to review these options with your parents at home. Select your top four choices in order of preference and return the signed form to your period two teacher this Friday, March 10th. All 6th and 7th grade students will complete a Google form during period two this Friday, March 10th. Your signed elective request form matching your Google form results will give us your elective request. Preferences for the next school year. Mustangs, please enjoy the featured video showcasing the various electives we have at Mentis. Sixth and seventh grade scholars, be sure to make informed choices about what you would like to take as your elective next school year.
of language that no matter where you come from, no matter what language you speak, you read it. It's a universal language. Join our class so you can learn it. Attention all 7th and 8th graders, are you interested in joining engineering, otherwise known as Project Lead the Way? This elective is for students who have the urge to learn and expand their creativity. PLTW is a fun elective that helps students achieve their full potential. Each student will get to explore different fields of engineering and be part of a proactive group. There will be different events that will showcase the different aspects and the students have learned in engineering. So if you're interested in joining Project Lead the Way, then join the engineering elective. Attention 6th and 7th graders, we welcome you to be a part of the AVID family. Take honors classes to get you on the path to college, participate in exciting events and field trips. See Ms. Salas or Mr. Gallardo if you are interested in an application. Thanks for tuning in this morning. Have a wonderful Tuesday, Mustangs. Stay respectful, responsible, and ready. Goodbye.